Hi, Merry Christmas and welcome back to Open Hand Farm. So today I'm in the kitchen and even though Christmas was yesterday, our family is celebrating the day after. Okay, so today. here I am on the 26th. Um, One of the things that I'm providing for the meal tonight is a charcuterie board. I don't know if I said that right, <laughs> but that's what I'm calling it. I'm going to show you how I'm gonna put this board together. I have to tell you, I've never done one, but my daughter-in-law put one together recently and I watched her. First of all, she had this amazing wooden board with handles on it that was huge. <laughs> and I was like, that's a great idea. So after she left, I went downstairs and dug through my wood pile. I found this cabinet door, I guess it is, and decided to try to turn it into a charcuterie board. Here is the cabinet door. It's just a plain door, nothing on it, and it needed to be sanded, so I did that. And then I used the folk art wax that I have told you about, and I added handles. So let me show you what I came up with. I think it's great. So now it's time to put this board together. I'm gonna to start out by showing you the supplies I have that I'm going to use on the board. Okay, I have an assortment of things here. I have some cheeses, some meats, some crackers, and some fruit. So I found these meats, just a selection at Aldi. I got two of those. We found this meat stick at Aldi. As you can imagine, this can get expensive to make. I found some cranberry white cheddar cheese. We had some of this last week and we ate it up. It was so good. I wanted some soft cheeses to go on the crackers. So I have a blueberry Philadelphia cream, but I also found a garden vegetable cream. Then we have a dill Havarti. I wanted really different flavors going on. And then of course, just some Tillamook medium cheddar. We also found this at Aldi. It's a mild Irish cheddar cheese. So along with the cheeses, I found some red pepper hummus. And we're going to use blueberries as one of our fruits, as well as I'm gonna peel some of these little cuties, whatever kind these were, I can't remember. I also have some smoked almonds, hickory smoked almonds. I have some pistachios. This we did not get at Aldi. That big bag was from Costco. My daughter-in-law and I and my oldest daughter and her husband eat gluten-free, so I needed some gluten-free options. So I found these jalapeno and lime good thins as well as these Parmesan and garlic good thins. But this is my favorite. I found these at Costco recently. They're called keto crackers, but the ingredients are so natural that I love it. It's pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, brown rice flour, tapioca flour, almond, hemp seeds, brown rice protein, flax seeds, crispy brown rice, sea salt, coconut butter, nutritional yeast. So I thought those were great and they taste wonderful. And for the normal people, some assorted crackers. I also wanted some bread for some of those spreads. I made some sourdough baguettes so that I can slice those and have them ready too. I also was downstairs and I found this like bowl like things, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I had found it and thought that is so cool and I was gonna repaint it or something. And I thought that would be great for the bread or some of the crackers. Because I haven't recently cleaned, uh, I cleaned it out, but I haven't painted it or sanded it or anything. I went ahead and put wax paper in the bottom of it just to protect our food from anything that might be on there. I'm going to start filling the board I'm just gonna let you watch. I have realized that there are ways that you can fold the meat to kind of make it easier to pick up and use on crackers. You'll see me doing 
things like that. You kind of start with the big things and then you fill in with the smaller things. Enjoy! Thank you for watching today. We had our family together and it was a wonderful time. From our family to your family, we hope that you have a wonderful new year and until next time, we pray blessings upon you.